Hey everyone, welcome back to Art City. My name is Alicia and today I'll be showing you how to make this fun all about me craft. As you can see on the outside of this craft, I've drawn a portrait of myself. If you'd prefer, you can also write and decorate your name. But when I open up my paper, you can find out all sorts of fun facts about me, such as three words to describe me are I'm creative, quiet, and passionate. My favorite color is purple. A place I'd like to visit is the beach and my favorite hobby is listening to music. This craft is a super fun way to explore and express yourself and find out what makes you, you. Not only do you get to draw yourself, but you also get to answer these fun prompts. And it's a good way to get to know your peers better too. So without further ado, let's get started. The supplies you need for this craft include a sheet of white paper, a pencil, and finally, coloring tools. You have the option of using whatever you have available, such as colored pencils, markers, or pens. Remember that these are only suggestions of what you can use to draw. You can also use other things that you have to decorate, such as stickers, glitter glue, or other materials. But if you don't have access to any of these drawing tools, that's okay too. With just a pencil, you can create a very nice black and white self-portrait, and you can decorate the inside of your craft very nicely as well. The first step is to fold our paper so that we will have a base to draw on. We will be folding our paper into six different sections. Firstly, we want to start by folding our paper in half. Now, we'll open our paper again to see that we've created a crease in the middle. Next, we want to fold both ends of our paper so that they meet in the middle on the crease we just made. Now, keeping our paper folded, we want to flip it upside down. Essentially, we'll be doing the same thing, folding both ends so that they meet in the middle. However, this time, when we fold the paper, we do not want to crease the flap at the bottom, so follow as so. Now we have the base of our craft. You can see that we have a nice big exterior to draw our portrait on or write our name, but when we open it up, we have sections where we can write and draw to answer prompts about ourselves. Next, we'll be working on the inside and we have to think of some prompts that we want to answer. Here is a list of prompt ideas that you can answer. You can choose to include whatever you'd like, or if you're doing this activity with a group of people, you can all do the same prompts. If you have any ideas that aren't already on the list, feel free to use them as well. I'm going to have the flaps of my paper folded down so I can see the sections. Firstly, we want to divide this area into different sections according to the number of prompts we've chosen to include. I will be choosing to include four prompts, so I will draw four sections. For this part, you can either choose to use a ruler, or you can freehand your sections as I am. Now that we have finished with this step, we want to write the prompts in our sections. These are the prompts that I have chosen. I will be writing my prompts in with pencil first. Next, I want to answer my prompts. You can use both words and pictures as your answers. Now that we have penciled in our prompts and our answers, the next step is to work on decorating the outside. So for the outside, you can either draw a self-portrait or you can also just write and decorate your name. Here you can see how I've drawn my self-portrait. I'm starting out with a pencil and drawing a simple sketch of myself until I am happy with what I have. A quick 
tip to help you draw your self-portrait, you can always refer to a picture of yourself, or you can sit in front of a mirror as you draw. I am also going to be writing my name on my cover. Once I am finished with my basic sketch in pencil, I'm going to move on to decorating my portrait. I'll be starting off with outlining my drawing. Next, I'll be using colored pencils to color in my portrait. I'm also going to be using a marker to put some extra decorations. Once I'm done coloring in my portrait, I'll go ahead and color in the inside as well. All right, so once we are done decorating, that means that we are all finished with our craft. We can take a look and admire our final piece. You can see that on the outside, we have drawn our nice self-portrait, and if we unfold our paper, we can read the prompts that we have written. I encourage you all to get creative with this craft, whether that may be drawing your portrait in a cool style, using different materials to decorate, or drawing your sections in wacky shapes. This is a super fun craft to do to help you get to know yourself better and also give you some practice on drawing your own self-portrait. It's also great if you want to get to know other people better, whether that may be your friends or your family, so I encourage you to get other people involved as well. Alright, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed making this craft and thank you for watching. Bye!